Hello, my dear friends, this is Stanislav Shamaev, a licensed business immigration and a corporate attorney here in Miami, Florida. Today we're going to be talking about E2 visa, how much money you need to invest, can it be active or it should be passive investment, what means substantial investment and everything you need to know before you proceed with this visa. At the end of this case, you'll be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your case. Let's do this. All right, so although I constantly talk about E2 visa on my Instagram, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, everyday stories about all kind of immigrations in the States, investment, business, and talent visas. I talk about E2 visa on my YouTube, I talk about E2 visa on my TikTok, on my Instagram. So I gathered those questions and now I'm gonna present them to you. Question number one, Stanislav, is it possible to invest less than $100,000 to a startup business in order to get a qualification for this visa? And the answer to this question is it depends because the law does not provide with the amount of $100,000. This amount came out from my experience and my personal cases with my clients. However, in my career, I was getting E2 visa for as low as 60 or $70,000. The law says that your investment should be substantial. What is substantial for me, what is substantial for you, and what is substantial to the immigration officer is probably a different amount. And that's why the case law and judicial practice explains that the substantial amount should be reflected in the nature of your business. In other words, depending on what kind of business you want to open up in the States, the substantial amount would be different. By way of example, if you want to open up a restaurant which needs about $300,000, then the substantial amount of uh, investment would be probably $200,000 or more. If you want to open up a trucking company and you want to buy uh, one truck and have one driver and maybe have a little office and some furniture and things like that, maybe $200,000 is your whole investment out of which $150,000 would be substantial investment. The substantial investment relates to the total amount that you want to invest and how much you need to invest in order for your business to be almost ready to start or enough to start. So this is the way the law works. Just a few months ago, I got approval for E2 visa for my clients from Kazakhstan. They opened up a tax consulting service. And this type of business does not require more than 30 to $40,000. We had to play with things around to make it a little bit over uh, $60,000, but it was success and my clients already doing business and, and, and live happily in the States. Another question I get a lot, uh, Stanislav, is it possible to be a passive investor with the E2 visa? And in this case, I have uh, two thoughts to share with you. Uh, first of all, I believe this question may be coming from EB5 visa, where you can invest $800 thousand dollars passively in somebody's project and get a green card or it might be coming from uh, understanding that you may be able to buy uh, some properties in the states and rent them out basically do nothing and get e2 visa so let's talk about the first situation where you can invest money in somebody else's business in order to get e2 visa in this case this is not possible this option is only available for EB-5 visa, where you invest, as I said, $800,000. E-2 visa does not provide this opportunity. So let's talk about the second part. Can you invest in buying properties, commercial properties, like right now I'm looking at Aventura Mall. This is the north part of Miami. Let's say you bought a few boutiques and you rent them out to other people who do the uh, commerce in the mall. Or you buy, let's say three to four, maybe five apartments and you want to rent them out and you invested money and it's substantial. It's definitely more than uh, half a million in this case, probably. Especially if you buy property in Miami, which is uh, very expensive. In this case, this is not going to work out either. Why? Because the law provides that you have to control and uh, direct your business. Your investment has to be at 
risk. Although you may satisfy the direct and control part of the business because you still direct and control your properties. However, your investment won't be at the risk. Stanislaw, why? A property and Lord knows what can happen. It's true, it's true. However, any property, any real estate in, in the US is, um, uh, is a very liquid uh, asset. In other words, you can buy it today and sell it tomorrow with almost no loss or maybe even uh, making some money. This does not satisfy the criterion of E2 visa where your money has to be at risk. However, with the same set of uh, facts where you purchase, let's say, five apartments and you want to rent them out, you can open up a separate LLC and use that company as a maintenance or managing company of those properties. In this case, this is closer to what we call uh, E2 visa, investment visa. However, again, because it's a service business, we'll have to be able to uh, invest at least uh, 50, 60, 70 plus thousand dollars to establish that business, which is going to be really hard, but possible because again, it's a service business. You don't have to sell goods. You provide services, you maintain uh, stuff. You maintain properties, you make sure that the tenants are good, you make sure it's clean, so you don't need to have a lot of things going. However, like I said, it's been done in the past and it's still possible. So what are the advantages of a E2 visa? And I get this question also a lot. Well, this is relatively easy to get this visa as long as you have uh, the proof of funds of how you made your money and uh, you invested uh, about 100K in the US and then you'll, you'll probably get a visa which is uh, for five years. Again, it depends on uh, which country you're from. Most uh, European countries and South American countries get a five-year visa. Some countries get a uh, one-year or two-year visa. And you crossed the border of the United States of America, you get a two-year status. This status can be extended forever and your visa can be renewed forever as long as your business is working and producing economic activity and it's not marginal. In other words, uh, it pays off its expenses, it pays off uh, the salaries, and it's profitable. It makes profit, right? How much profit should it be? Well, it depends on the type of business. Also, it's uh, advisable to have uh, at least several employees in this business. In this case, we'll be able to show to the government that business is working, it produces uh, income, it generates income and it employs people. In other words, it, it produces uh, economic activity. So this visa can be extended forever. Yes, it's attached, it's connected to the one type of business, but if it's uh, successful and the business is growing, then it's all pure success. And uh, of course, there are ways to switch from E2 visa to green card. However, this is not a subject of this video and smash the like button if you want me to produce another video for you where I will explain how to switch from E2 visa to the green card. So if you think you satisfy the criteria of E2 visa, please go down below this video and fill out the application that I prepared for you so I can give you a free evaluation of your case within 48 hours. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ask me questions in the comments, I'll definitely get back to you very soon. I am Stanislav Shamayev, the lawyer of your future. Your future begins here. Good luck.